How's it going guys? Dave here from Mining Dudes. Today we're going to be showing you how to flash your AMD cards on ETHOS. The rig we have here is an 8 card rig. We sell these on MiningDudes.com. They're also available on Newegg.com and we are the supplier. Um, this is our 8 card RX 570 rig. Currently hashing at just over uh, 200 hashes on Ethereum. Uh, each card hashes around 26 mega hashes. That's with the modded BIOS, slightly overclocked. Uh, we don't really push our cards to the limit again because this is a mining rig. We want this to last for as long as possible so we can really get our return on investment um, without having cards go bad and stuff like that. So let's jump into it. There's going to be a couple things you're going to need to need. We're going to work on a Windows computer as well. So you are going to need a Windows computer for this tutorial. We're going to be using the Anorak uh, modded BIOSes. So we're going to put the links, everything that you're going to need in the description below. So the first thing you're going to want to do is jump over to the website. You're going to go to your manufacturer and you're going to download the ROM that's going to work for your card. So I'm just going to browse quick to the Asus one that we're going to use. So we're using the Asus Rogue Strikes RX 570 ROMs. Um, we've already downloaded that into our documents folder. I'm going to show you that in just a second. The other piece of software you're going to need is called WinSCP. Again, links are going to be in the description below to download this. And we're going to use this to uh, push the ROM over to the mining rig. So as you can see, I've already went ahead and downloaded my ROM file. This uh, I renamed it to just something really simple, our 570new1.rom. And uh, as you can see, I'm already logged into this uh, ethos machine. I'm just going to disconnect now so you can see how to reconnect. First thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to get the IP address from your ethos machine. It's going to be in the top left hand corner. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that your ethos machine is online. Obviously your network cable is in. Once you get that IP, it should be a local IP, a 192 address, depending on your network setup. You're going to take that IP and you're going to jump back over to your windows machine on WinCP under the host name is where you're going to type in that IP right there. Um, the port number is going to be 22. The protocol is going to be SFTP and your username is going to be ethos by default and the default password is live L I V E. You click save, click OK. We're going to log in. It's going to connect to the host. It's going to ask for that password one more time L I V E and we're on. So once you're on the machine, you're going to want to take that ROM and transfer it over. As you can see, we already threw it over there, but let's do it again. So we're just going to plop that over and it's there. That's it. The ROM is now on the machine. So now it's just a matter of flashing the ROM to each of these cards. So once you do that, there's a couple ways you can do this. You could plug keyboard and mouse into the machine directly and work like that. Or you can remote into the machine, which is what I prefer to do. So that's what we're going to do for this tutorial. So again, you're going to get that IP address of your ethos machine. It's in the top left hand corner. You're going to jump into your web browser and we're just going to type that into the web browser. The login is again, it's going to be ethos. Password is live, L-I-V-E, and you're on. And there's two steps to this process. The first step is going to be to back up your ROM. So I already have those uh, saved for you. So I'm going to take that and we'll throw these also in the description of the video. So what you can do is you can literally just copy and paste these in, paste from browser. And you're going to take this script and throw it in there. It's a sudo space ATI flash space S. Zero is the adapter number. Um, we only need to back up the ROM once in this case because all of the cards are the same. If you do have different cards, you're going to want to back up the ROM for each card. So what you would do is you would change this adapter number from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3. And then you're just also going to change the path. So it would be backup 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're just going to run this. So sudo ati flash dash s. Just make sure the whole script is in there. I have seen it when you copy and paste from the browser that pieces of the script don't all go. Um, also, just notice an issue, you're going to want to make sure that it's a lowercase s. Um, click enter and that's it. It's done. You can see it. It saved it. Um, and so now you're going to start flashing the cards themselves. So again, the script really isn't much different. I'm going to paste this from the browser again. So the script is sudo ati flash dash f dash p zero is the adapter. The next part of the script is going to be the path of where your ROM is. So it's going to be slash home slash ethos slash the name of the ROM, whatever you renamed it. Again, I renamed mine 570 new onerom Click OK. And you're going to see it in there. Just confirm that's correct. And click enter. And it's flashing the card. The first card is flashed that quick. So now to pull up that script again, you're just going to click the up arrow on your keyboard. You're going to scroll to the left to the, where the adapter number is and you're going to change that zero to a one 
and just click enter again run that script again and we're gonna keep going you know work your way through get through all eight cards so it'd be zero through seven this one's already flashed so um, we're not gonna go through the whole thing um, once you do flash all eight cards the next step is just gonna be to restart your rig make sure everything's working correctly and that's as simple as typing the letter R clicking enter you're gonna see your rig shut off come back online and you're gonna be ready to go your rig will be flashed um, again there's different BIOSes for every single card um, find the one that works best for you um, at, we use Anorax um, they've worked best for us but you will see some other people online using different ones um, but we're gonna recommend Anorak for this tutorial.